before you snack on some strawberries, make sure you wash them well. Third year in a row, strawberries on top of the dirty dozen list is from the Environmental Working Group. It's an advocacy group. Spinach came in second. The group ranks pesticide contamination in, well, it's right there in the name, a dozen, but they look at 49 different fruits and vegetables that are tested by the USDA. Some of the other uh, runners up to strawberries and spinach include nectarines, apples, and grapes. And Esme, when you look at that list, I know my wife, when we first had kids, kind of gave me the list and said, here's the dirty dozen. This is what we don't want. We want to get organics you know, of this. I, you know, I don't buy a lot of organics. I do try and buy organic strawberries and organic berries just because of this reason, because I think it makes sense when you think of the strawberry absorbing all that water from the soil. So I do take this seriously. I do not buy organic apples. I mean, those I, I do scrub, but I, I, I pay attention to this. This kind of study has been out before. It's hard to scrub a strawberry. Or a, a raspberry. <laughs> <It's very laughs> difficult. Matt, you don't... Uh, <laughs> You, you don't, don't scrub any, anything. I don't wash anything. You love this. dirt. He loves germs. I'm just. I'm. I'm not going to live in fear of fruit. I'm just. I refuse to do it. <laughs> but do you want to get cancer? But what about somebody okay, touching it? Calm down. All those no, pesticides. I don't care. But those Listen, are your children, though. You've admitted. Just because my wife will stare at me and make sure I wash it for okay. the kids, I'll like rinse the raspberries. But like, what's that really doing? I, listen, my kids' hands go in disgusting places and go right in their mouths. So I don't think their fruits and vegetables are the biggest issue. Well, it's interesting because my mom, who is a cancer survivor 10 years now, when she was diagnosed, she changed out her entire routine. There are only organic fruits and vegetables in the house. She changed, only drinks organic milk. It's something that she takes very, very seriously because she doesn't know where her cancer came from. There's no hereditary right. And she was only 55 when she was diagnosed. She grew up on a farm diagnosed. with lots of pesticides, only 55 when she was yes. diagnosed. I think like people do want to take every single precaution that they so can. So here's the problem. If you're number one on the dirty dozen list, mm -hmm. what does that mean to you, Esme? How bad is that? Well, I think it's bad, but I also go back to the fact Why that is it bad? Because it's number one. Because it's, it's number one. So here's the it's problem. The dirtiest. Scientists have taken a look at the methodology and taken a look at this research and said, okay, like, is it legit or not? And what this environmental advocacy group does is they take a look at all of the pesticides that USDA tests for, and then it's called the Dirty Dozen. You got to rank it. Number one still has pesticide levels that are so low, so way, way lower than anything that would cause any sort of human risk. So because you're the worst doesn't necessarily mean that you're bad. And that's the issue that no, some scientists... I, I, I take this very I, seriously. I why, mean, I, though? Who's to say that these guys I, know what they're talking about? I'm concerned about what my family eats. Um, There's just I, so much we don't know. We don't know. Too. I mean, uh, but there is a cost factor here. And so mm -hmm. I don't oh, yeah. buy everything organic. But when it comes to strawberries and raspberries, I do try to because my family loves them. Yeah. So. Well, the most mm -hmm. important thing is that you should eat fruits and vegetables. The risk of not eating those foods... Yes much bigger than pesticide.